What's up guys, welcome to your 150th Android tutorial for the new Boston and uh, just want to say congratulations for getting it, getting this far. Um, I know we've gone kind of quick in some places, been pretty boring lately, um, so I apologize for that. Just been trying to get all these tutorials done and so, you know, my humor just went down the drain. But let's just try and, uh, let's just try and keep going here. Um, first thing, if you guys notice, I just deleted pretty much our git method and we're just starting again brand new from within this class. We're going to actually parse some data from Twitter uh, using JSON which is JavaScript object notation and we're just going to read some information from basically the JSON uh, URL um, which I'll kind of explain what it looks like and all that stuff as we go. But first we're going to create a new method within our class that returns a JSON object. So we're just going to say public JSON object. It's the type that it's going to return. And we're going to call this we're going to call this last tweet. Something like that. And we're going to get pass in a string that is going to be the user name, something like that. And we also want to throw some uh, throw some exceptions so we're gonna say throw uh, throws client protocol exception input output exception and a JSON exception or JSON ex uh, exception alright so now that we have this method set up we've got to add all of our imports control shift O again and it adds our imports for us and we need some kind of a return statement that's going to return a JSON object we'll get to that in a second the first thing that we want to do again is have a HTTP client uh, that's going to basically be a de default so we're going to set that up above our class so we can refer to it everywhere else so HTTP uh, client and we're going to say this client is again um, just keep things kind of familiar there then our onCreate method we might say client it's equal to new default HTTP client, uh, just standard default client. Nothing new for the most part. Again, uh, just add our imports. All right. So now let's get into it. Basically, mainstream websites that use some kind of JavaScript, you know, object notation or JSON uh, allows that to be public so you know people like us, us can pull some of the information and use it in our applications and Twitter has you know a JSON that we can actually pull some information from and you can search that you know like Twitter JSON and uh, a lot of you know top few results will show you the actual website link that you guys can get some information from and which what type of JavaScript notation it is for this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up you know that URL above our class because it's not going to change so we're just going to say um, final static string and we're just going to call this URL something like that and what we're going to do is we're going to refer to the JSON string called HTTP forward slash forward slash API dot Twitter dot com forward slash one forward slash statuses forward slash user underscore timeline dot JSON so that's the one that we're gonna use uh, you, again you can just search in Google to find different types and see which uh, you know what it does and for this one it just kinda pulls up I think the last few tweets or something and uh, I'll get into what that website actually looks like or what that URL string does and uh, and all that good stuff as we go but now what we want to do is we and we just want to build a string builder so we're gonna say string builder we're gonna call this one URL and this one's lowercase URL so it's different than our string we're gonna set this equal to be a new string builder and we're gonna say URL uh, within the parentheses so basically what we're doing is using a string builder to build the string off of our off our JSON code uh, or URL um, whatever you guys want to refer to that as 
and then what we're going to do is we're going to parse some data from that but before we do that I want to show you guys what you know this kind of looks like so we're going to do that first so give you guys uh, give yourself a few spaces we're just going to use again the HTTP get uh, command and we're just going to say get and this is equal to new HTTP get and then we're going to refer to our URL lowercase dot to string So again, nothing new for the most part. Um, and that's probably it for this tutorial. We haven't done too much, but we do now kind of understand that some mainstream services like Twitter allow some JSON um, references that we can pull some data from and use. And you know, our application actually doesn't do all that work. It's Twitter that's doing the work and we're just pulling some of the data. So uh, that's probably the lesson for today. But so we're gonna get into you know setting up this last tweet method to return a JSON object and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a good one